Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Command and Conquer Zero. Our Pablo Escobar is our GLA Stealth. And his opponent playing as the China Nuke, Yu Roli. They see me rolling, they hating. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Pablo Escobar lately. I, I bet the workers actually would be hating though, because they don't even have shoes, and this other dude, like in the U in the USA, is like driving around in a dozer. I would be hating if I saw someone rolling in a dozer. I want a dozer. You'd be jealous. Yeah. Our, our roommate, our roommate actually, GG NBN Lord, he he has a dozer. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, isn't it more like a really big supply truck? Uh, yeah, well, technically he has a really big supply truck, but eventually he can also drive really... He can also drive construction dozers as well, so... Right. If you ever need a command center put up, I'm sure he'd be able to hook you up, so... Because um, he, he needs a dozer if he gets bogged, because in the dozer, like... Yeah. And the dozer also um, puts stuff in and out of his truck. Yeah. It doesn't just magically go on and off like it does in, in <laughs> generals. Unfortunate, so. Alrighty, so fairly standard openers from the looks of things. Um, double supply into war factories versus expanding tunnel networks. Not at all weird. Maybe we see some early captures. We've seen a bit of success with RD, RD, post, RD platform captures on, on this map because they, they protect tunnel networks and they also kind of cover each other because they're, they're relatively close, which is a rarity for, for these kind of maps. Normally the, the RD platforms are quite far away um, from each other. They're on opposite sides of the map, Ooh. whereas we have here, they're actually quite close. This is actually going to get through, I think. Oh, no, nice kiting. Good kite. Yeah, I was wondering why he had the uh, the outpost and the Battlemaster so close, and of mm. course I forgot he was versing a GLA Stealth, where the hijackers are certainly a threat. He pops out a bunch of RPGs. We'll take out the outpost, the Battlemaster, and the Gatling will take a bit of damage too, so that was pretty successful. Yeah, not, not, not a bad pop, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, the, the tank gunners are duked out, so... There wasn't a, temp, a TNT there either. No, nah, they were duked out, so, yeah. so... there's no outpost for now, so he has to be careful of the hijackers. Though this is a very nice tunnel being built on the side. Having that forward tunnel means he could even just send... A hijacker out to look for a dozer steel. Yeah, it's actually a, a pretty a pretty big chance that this isn't um that isn't Ooh. map bound as well. Wow, I got the scrap. It's nutty. Oh no, that was right on the edge of the mines. Yeah, that was surprising. Ah, I thought that was outside the range. That must have been right on the edge. But turning's really bad for mines. If you turn on them, that's the most likely uh. cause of popping mines. Is actually yeah moving <laughs> on them. Wow, nice attempt. Again, like, yeah, you don't expect double mines. Normally, if, if a supplier's mine, the other one generally isn't. So, because it's a big investment. Well, and it's normally mm. factories that get mined over supplies. This is actually a really good tunnel network from Pablo Escobar, because it means you really probably won't search for the actual tunnel network that's there. That was a very wow, intelligent This play. one's close. Oh, he does oh, actually get reveal. The reveal. It. Damn, okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate, because those were a really heads up play by Pablo Escobar building the, the, the fake tunnel. Essentially fake tunnel. I think yeah. that was a, a dragon tank that went down, but took the tunnel low enough. And the, the tunnel networks are so important for GLA Stealth because you really rely on, on mobility. Mm. That being said, the tunnel was revealed, but it wasn't actually destroyed. But it is people pushing out with a decent army here. Three battle masters, a gat, and an outpost. So this is going to be a hard army to crack. Yeah, I mean... I think it's 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 gonna force Pablo Escobar to deal with the army, so maybe he doesn't have to worry about tunnel pops. There's also a possibility that it wasn't revealed revealed. Like obviously the notification was there, but maybe you Rolly didn't notice while he was taking out the, the middle of the map. It's a possibility. Uh, let's Some see. of his production structures are gonna start getting rolled now. Okay, he sees the tunnel. He should see this the supply once he's a little bit closer as well. Quad comes out of the tunnel and is gonna be gunning down both of these trucks. Wow, quick overlord, so he already has a prop center. It's going to get scouted by Pablo Escobar, so knows the prop center tech is uh, up and functioning. Probably will steal the oil derrick away, so that's going to be good. Well, we probably won't get the refinery, but it's not a big deal. Um, the the big deal was actually denying the, the oil derrick, but it might not matter. I don't know what Pablo has to, to deal with this huge army. The, the tunnel network will at least delay the overlord pushing forward, so that's nice. Last probably a little bit of time to go for whatever he's going for. I mean, what is he going for? Is he have a palace or something? Is that a palace tech? 
Uh, well, he's, can, going, he's going Palace. Wow, that's really bold. Okay. Pretty late, because he went for the, yeah. the supply first, so that, that's why he didn't have much of an army. But he can just delay. I mean, it takes a while to clear out all these tunnels, because you've got to be so careful of, of just mass RPG pops or hijackers, so you mm. can't just go ham after them. You have to play a little bit more, more tactical. But there is double oil in the hands of, of Pablo and a single refinery as well, so... Yeah, and, dou and double overlord with our palace tech from Pablo Escobar, they'll just roll tunnel networks as well, so... Overlord's much better than new battle masters at taking out tunnel networks. Yeah, they have the range, so they don't have to worry so much about the hijackers. They've got the Gatling cannons now as well, so... I hope you roll like, maintains the pressure, because once the Jarman comes out, it's going to be a lot harder. There is an outpost here, and there's another outpost here as well. But may want to get more than one outpost mixed in. Yeah, you're only going for a bit of uh, busy work, I suppose you could say. I want the technical six through. I'm um, just taking out the the refiner and the oil while he's waiting for this big army to push out. Like you might as well be doing something with this army. Um, tank shells are free in zero hour, so you might as well be using them. Okay, this is an interesting layout of tunnels. I don't know why he's going tunnels, though. Unless he's got nothing to pop in and out of them that's important. I mean, maybe juking the Overlord's turrets is going to be a plan with these RPGs, but I don't see it working out for him. Okay, the ECM is taking damage from the RPGs, but now it's stopped acquiring. The Overlords are doing some pretty good damage here. The ECM finally drops, but there's only two RPGs left, so it isn't the end of the world. But one of the Overlords about to fall to those rocket shells, and there's no more infantry capturing... Overlord barely survives this one. One of the Battle Masters was stolen. But not actually much of the infrastructure is crumbling. It's only the tunnels that are being destroyed. Yeah, most of them are going down, so it's important that, that Uralee actually finishes these off. If you take them all down, there's a big investment down the drain. And a counterattack from Pablo Escobar. Love that. Going for the going for one of the supplies. Alright, there's a Jarman. There's Jarman on the field, but he's gonna get revealed. He's looking for the steal. There's a worker there. He's gonna take Go. the full health oh. overlord. Yeah, that was that was tragic. He's gonna lose the rest of the, the, the army. That being said, the uh, mm. the focus fire followed up by the detonation took out uh, both of the overlords. So we, we won't see Pablo having a GLA overlord. He will steal a supply that actually goes through. <laughs> and actually gonna be building workers out of it as well. That's 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 next level BM. Because look at this tunnel network. It can't fire on the workers. The if the supply is blocking him out. Yeah, and I don't. Mm. Does it not auto target it because it's a building? Because it auto targets units, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it can kill oh, buildings, no. can it? Oh no! Oh no! Don't oh, don't, don't do that. Do that. Away. Don't be that guy that that leaves. Oh! Oh! Gets never. Uh, overlords need um need to hold hands with revealing units when they when they walk along the street or go into uh, okay he, GLA controlled areas. You can shut this down with a lotus, mm. but it's still it's still a, a costly loss and it, it's buying time. Where's the lotus shut down? Yeah, what, the, what? what? Okay, he's going to get the Overlord away now because there wasn't a shutdown. Yeah, he backs straight to the tunnel network. That's a really bad play by Uroli. There's, there's ample time to, to go for the shutdown, and it was outside of... Maybe Lotus was worried about the Jarman, and the Jarman is close. With that being said, I'm pretty sure Jarman's actually inside of this building, the right-hand side, because right. we've got the, the icon for it. So or at least he's inside the tunnel network, one of the two. I think he might be inside the tunnel network. So Jarman is a threat, but Lotus still could have gone for that shutdown. It would have been worth. Lotus shutdowns are very quick. So has the the oil in the refinery captured now? Does Uroli? He's going to sell off his own supply. Last game we saw GLA Humvees. This game we are seeing China workers. So this is going to be annoying here for Uroli, but he will cap that one. Keeps the momentum rolling. Still mining off the third base is Pablo. The Overlord's going to be a pain in the butt with the amount of... Uh... With the amount of tunnel networks that Pablo Escobar has, there are so many opportunities for pops. Overlord's the ideal unit to have popping in and out. Okay, we have the workers retained, so he built another supply. Jarman and Overlord pushing up the right flank. Man, he's going to have China with tunnel mobility. It's funny because we, we could also see Jarman or, or a hijacker steal a dozer. Mm. So then we're going to have both players having access to both of these factions. Would make things interesting. I mean, we've talked about how we want the one player quit yeah. um, tournament to go ahead at some point, so. Yeah. I think if we were to do anything in terms of a, 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 a zero hour tournament ever, that would be it, so. Just hard to sort of the, organize. Yeah, hard to do. Hard to do. It's very logi it's logistically difficult, but it would be cool. 
Okay, still has the outpost. The ECM is going to be pretty important. Yeah, there's, a, is done. there's a lot of RPGs around and there's also some RP, some uh, buggies, but he does decrew that overlord. Does he even have any troops inside the listening outpost? Okay, he has one, but he needs to focus this down. Nice retarget with the overlord. Yeah, nice play. He's able to recrew it. So the, both the overlords are still here and the Jarman went down. So it's going to have to be rebuilt. There was a the palace built up again. It looks like an RD strike in conjunction with something else managed to take out the palace, but it has been rebuilt, so oh, it's... Oh, that's getting low. The overlord go. survives. It's bad to have a low overlord. You want to... Because you want both of them to be really low. Or of equal health. So if Jarman takes one of them out, you can oh, swipe it down. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of a detonation there in that oh, turret smart. rotation. I'm surprised the overlord didn't just stay and fight because it, he had an extra volley or Jarman two. Jarman must be coming out in a sec, so... German's gonna oh, he wants to steal it instead. He wants to steal it. Yeah, right. he wants to steal it. 100%. I, I mean... Uh, but he's going back in. Kay. No, okay. Oh, there's German. Oh, okay, I was gonna... Oh, okay. That was kind of 50-50. I don't know about that. There's yeah. A... He would have been close to yeah, the German. I got why the Overlord was going in, because he was trying to push German into... Sorry, he was trying to push the Overlord into where German was, but actually parked it within range of the palace. So the palace took out the Overlord. So he really right. should have gone for the steal there. Pablo Escobar could have played that a little bit better. The Overlord was dead to rights and it couldn't take anything out, but still, I mean, sure. Okay, we have an airfield, so there must be a nuke missile soon. I'm not sure why he would want to go... I guess he wants a bunker helix yeah. because of the the Overlord that's a threat. I was going to say perhaps he wanted um, nuke mix, but nuke mix aren't very good versus the Overlord. And it's fine for taking out tunnels if he forces Uroli to pop somewhere else. Uh, sorry, if he forces Pablo Escobar to pop in another location, it's fine for taking out tunnels. Um... Bunglix is still what you want to take out title. It's just so dangerous against GLA stealth because it's quite RBG, so... Yeah, this yeah. Gatling Overlord is going to be really useful for Pablo because he has detection. Wait, where GLA actually has pretty bad detection otherwise because you've got the radar van and tunnels and you know, tunnels obviously are defensive. Okay, loses the... Uh, that was a Jarman there, I believe, so... Manages to keep the supply and the barracks alive. The stealth supply. Actually, demo traps could be really effective because he's going to be dealing with buggies and yeah and uh, the battle buses, the you know, Jarman even. So those are really good threats. And and as I was just saying earlier, the, the detection isn't very good. You you don't want to have a lot of radar vans because they have no utility. Whereas with the outposts, it's, it's fine to mix in outposts. Not only do they give detection, they also they allow you to recrew. They also then have a rocket attack. So they have plenty of other things to do. And, yeah, for sure. You know, with USA, spy drones are practically free. And they give you heaps of sight range. Okay, so let us have snuck in. Ah, oh, you strike probably just on the workers. No. <laughs> oh. What? What? It's one of those weird arty strikes again. I hate those things. Because that's actually a level two, I think. And it is weirdly... I don't know why it does that. Yeah, it was it was delayed so much. Maybe it's just a random offset every time. Yeah. Rather than having a, a pattern that it uses. Yeah, it's normally really consistent, so... Yeah. yeah. It's only a couple of times, and I swear it's just been in the last six months that we've seen the other one of those, where it's just like... Because I thought it, it was going to end, and then, then it didn't end, and then it didn't end again. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Okay, this must be a mine drop. Must it be? Unless he gets a free... I guess a free battle master. There we go. One of the the better of the drops. I swear he just carpet bombed. I know. Must just be up. He goes for the, the palace. Must be wanting to push then. Is he going to go for it? Must be. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, you're always going to go now. He didn't do a lot. He's going to pull the trigger. Um, yeah, just, just to take some damage onto the palace. Okay, I get that. That's fine. It's a good play. Jarman's going to die here. Oh, look at the Gatling positioning. Yeah. The Gatling was so far forward that mm -hmm. the Jarman is going to just died, and, and now he's going to capture this one back. Uh, no problems at all. He's got, just push in. He's got three ECM, so he can, he can just attack that yeah. palace head yeah, on. Yeah, go for it. I reckon go for it right now. Just start to start forcing down these tunnel networks. That would be a really good play to go for the palace. He's also got to worry about a uh, no no double rebel ambush because he's his stealth. Yeah. It's already been... Yeah, it's starting to get repaired as well. Now the palace is getting repaired, so... I'd like to see your Uroli go more aggressive here. Going for the palace is the, the biggest 
um, threat to this this Chinese army's kind of mobility and stuff. So I mean, it's oh, always on wow. poor health, but here we go. It's a pop. Three helixes emerge, but a decent pop from Pablo Escobar as well. One of the helixes does drop here. The palace is still doing so much damage. The second helix falls. The third one's running for his dear life. And now here's the counter pop from Pablo. Double battle, battle bus, his own overlord. Looks like the army of Uroli is crumbling, but mass ECMs, no, not able to shut down the Overlord because the battle bus takes them out. So that came down to the palace being not going down fast enough because Pablo, because Uroli didn't pull the trigger early enough. If you pulled the trigger 20 seconds earlier on that engagement, two of the helixes probably wouldn't have gone down there, and then he could have won the follow-up engagement against the battle buses. Um, unfortunately... Paleskar's composition turned out to be perfect against Helixes and that kind of an army because battle buses are just brutal. They get taken down to the shell and then they keep firing. Yeah. Um, so that was that was crazy. Yeah, that the palace repaired a fair bit of health. Yeah, it was about. It was, it was pretty much full health. It was yeah. like ninety percent or over by the time the the attack came through from Uroli. It got what he was going for, but should have softened up the palace much more. Like waiting for the Arty strike or pulling the trigger straight away would have been uh... much better. The tank hunter was delayed by constantly getting caught. And speaking of getting caught, this overlord is going to fall here because that scumbag outpost keeps blocking his pathing. I think uh, uh, Yoroli needs to work on his GLA. Yeah. It's, it's not great. The tunnel pops need some work. Oh, man. This tunnel pops really need some work. This overlord's going to be vet 3 soon. Mm. That's going to be so scary. He's just focusing it down. Um, you know. He's actually going to take it out now. The tunnel's falling, so he can capture this one. So there will be multiple yeah. of, of the, the GLA overlords. Oh, man. That was nutty. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking good for you, Rolly. Um, double GLA overlord. <laughs> the palace is still fine. There are a lot of vetted RPGs. So the battle buses are full. That's the other thing, I'm pretty sure, even though those battle buses went down to the shells, look how many RPGs actually survived out of that. Yeah. I mean, that's the most, that's the most uh, expensive part of a, of a battle bus, is the RPGs. They didn't do much. No, Just took really. out one palace. God. So, there are some hackers on the field, but there, there's certainly a lot more black markets. So this late game is, is not looking good for Yoroli. I don't, I don't see any redeeming factor. I mean, there's, what, six hackers? It's not enough. And they're just so easy to lose to an anthrax bomb. Hell, even Stealth Rebel Ambush. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay, EMPs. It's going to delay production, but there's an, another arms dealer there anyway. These players are so weird. Cause they, I don't know about this general's power usage. Because the EMP would be really good versus the overlords. Yeah. One of those weird arty strikes again. No. <laughs> well, no, it was! <laughs> Why are these arty strikes where's so weird? Rollies, where's your Rollies command center? Just out of interest. Like, maybe that's affecting it. Not weird, like. It's just really indecisive. Yeah. Alright, there's gonna be some, some caps. Just really poorly managed. Oh, um, no. The artillery commander needs, it needs to be much better at his job. We'll say that much, so. Yeah. Fire! What was that? I said fire! S somebody is, is is not working as diligently as they should. Yeah, the uh, the general's powers usage has been very questionable at best from your Oh, there's one, but not the other one. Yeah, that one completes. So the right side is is pushing. There's a fair bit of tunnels here. Hmm. The line of tunnels kind of reminds me of like a line of pawns in chess. Because, you know, it sort of right. it sets yeah, up yeah, where yeah, you yeah. want to attack. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Callum is sad because he keeps losing to Blake in chess. You'll get there, buddy. Don't worry about it. Wow. I mean, like, it's not weird for, like, two, two even high-ranking players to, like, lose a lot and then win a lot. Like, that's actually a standard thing. Like, well, yeah. that, and you actually yeah. watch chess videos in your spare time. Yeah, that, that does help, I'll be honest. So, yeah. Which is not very fair. Yeah. I haven't really implemented anything from those videos, but I think just watching them has been, like, good. I've just been watching, like, five-minute blitz matches, and that's been pretty good. 
Um, there are some fun stuff. Coffee Chess is a, is a good channel. There are, so, there are a few really good um, chess, I guess, content creators, I guess you could say, that I've, I've really been enjoying. Hey, here's a, here's um, a, a really interesting statement that m may blow your mind. You could argue the world's most successful esport is chess. In, in terms of, like, play account, tournament stuff, because they have... Right. If you look on, like, chess.com, there is, like, really big leagues. Right, okay. So technically, yeah, yeah, chess is yeah, an sure. e Yeah, yeah, sure. The only because, th yeah, it's an online online game. It is yeah, an actual sure. electronic yeah. game. The, yeah. the only yeah. thing is, is that tournaments are obviously done in person. Yeah. But, like, there are there are a lot of there chess There are a lot games. of online tournaments, though. Yeah. There are a lot of online tournaments. Like, chess.com is huge, and there are a bunch of other chess sites as well that are really big. Yeah, maybe um, not the biggest, but, like, it's it's a big yeah. eSport. You, you yeah. never think about it, yeah. because it's, it's a board game, but it's also yeah. a video game. Probably not in terms of viewer count, at least, but in terms of, like, <laughs> yeah. in terms of like tournaments and, and player base, sure, like, I, I can totally see that. I guess then it comes down to the definition of, of, of what is eSport, but yeah. I think it's it's one of those things that you can't ever actually define. It's kind of like... RPG or RTS, like there's always going to be blurry lines, but there's always going to be fantastic tunnel pops here from Uroli, or maybe not because he's he had his tunnel pops were really bad. <laughs> yeah, I spoke too uh, soon, didn't I? Uh, I was just desperate for a segue. I, yeah. I wasn't too concerned about being accurate. I mean, maybe we're just putting we're putting too much on Uroli here. Maybe it's just Chinese units are just like. They're not designed to fit in these tunnel networks. You see how much the pathing gets blocked, like relative yeah, the to GL units. Certainly like, was struggling. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's the functionality of getting units in and out of tunnel networks, because this is a thing, but I uh, feel that, that... Yeah, I feel that, obviously, what? like, the, I feel like the GL8 units are so much small, smoother when they come out of um, tunnel networks in terms of their pathing. So. Wait, this is Uroli's yeah. Jarvan? This is the thing, yeah. Um, oh, my God. So I was let's so... scroll out. So, let's see how many GLA buildings there are. There might be more GLA buildings than Chinese buildings. He should actually build Black Markets. He black has market... a Black Market! D where He's is got it? two! Oh, one yeah. Because <laughs> Black Markets are just so much more cost-efficient than yeah. hackers. Look at this. Okay, he's going for on the left-hand side. Look at all these GLA buildings. He's got a palace full of RPGs. I was oh, so confused God. why the Overlord was sniped. I was like, wait, why was it sniped? But yeah, there's going to be Jarman v. Jarman. Mm. He has Jarman mm. and Lotus. That is not yeah. fair. See, this is such a good play from Uroli. Because, like, Pablo Escobar's not going to expect this. He's like, okay, here's China. He must attack me. But in reality, Uroli's turning himself into a GLA by building black markets. Yeah, that being said, it might be too late, though. I don't know if he, he might can, be too far behind. He yeah. Catch up to Pablo. I mean,. It, Probably isn't too Pablo bad. Pablo is playing this like a GLA versus China still. He's it, which is good, but it's fine because he's, he's ahead in like M economy. But Uroli is now playing this like a GLA. Uroli is playing GLA strats. Isn't that just like really sad for how crappy late game China is? Yeah. That when, yeah. when when you have the option to go GLA, did you just miss the palace? Yeah, I have no idea what that was. These these. But he's a beacon on it. These like, support pay. <laughs> These support powers are dreadful because I mean yeah. having them for engagements would be really handy. He's gonna, he's gonna have battle buses as well with tank hunters. What's yeah. better, horde bonus yeah. would probably make it work. Dude, yeah, yeah, horde bonus battle buses would be sick. That being said, yeah. though, I mean the same in the palace, dude. You need a horde bonus in the palace. The toxin gamma yeah. makes a big difference too, though. But this is a good flank. He's gonna find one of these black markets. Okay, this is see, man. How good would that carpet bomb be here? That's yeah. an EMP though. He gets two it's battle buses and an overlord, one. but yeah. there's still three buses out in the open. Gotta take this fight. Collapsed upon by Uroli. No ECMs. Oh, he's losing some units here, and their supplies being focused down. No ECMs is a feels bad man. Ah, uh, the outposts, the overlords just getting shredded. Now the ECM rolls up, but it's not even with the rest of the overlords where it needs to be. ECM get over with the overlords. Like the shutdown doesn't matter. They're already disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, insert meme of the swimmer guy putting uh, water on his head in the oh, swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, please actually do that. Yeah. Um. I, I give you permission to leave angry comments if Blake did not insert that meme. I oh, did. I'll have to do it. I'm gonna. The, the issue is I'm gonna. I'm gonna edit this, finish, render it out, upload it, try and card it, and see that I was supposed to put a meme in there. And, and that's I yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, because. Yeah. I card them when they're already rendered. O often so, yeah. I would I would say I'll do this thing and I always just forget because I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. rewatch a video in its entirety. Okay, nuke missiles are on the way. I mean that's I guess he he went for that just for the sake of the nuke mix because the scud storm would be a lot better otherwise. 
I mean, nuke migs are really good versus the battle buses. Yeah. And the buggies, the spread out RPGs. Just the map control is now a huge issue. The Pablo Escobar is playing this really well. Um, because the tunnel network spread is so good, and that just means there's so much room for black markets. And the more room there is for black markets, the less and less effective China is late game. Because once well, the carbon money strike going to take out one black market, it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme, it's useless. So, um, if there's the USA, it'd be another another story, but it's China. And nuke missiles are awful against GLA. So. Yeah, and yeah. the the nuke carpet bomb isn't very good versus buildings. Certainly not as good as, as say, uh, a Spectre. That's really what you want. Spectre yeah. gunship. Nuke MIG's in the air. Pablo Escobar has the the control of the map. The yeah. left flank... This, this, this should be unwinnable for your Oli. Um, I like how there's all these stingers, though. That's going to make it a lot harder to use yeah. both MIGs and helixes. Okay, he gets an anthrax bomb, though. But yeah, I think he's... going to get the nuke MIGs, dude. He's getting the nuke MIGs. Oh, yeah. I, I think he's managed to miss all the hackers, though. <laughs> like, look how close these hackers yeah. are to the anthrax. So, suppose that's actually... That's smart positioning. and something everyone should keep in mind. Don't have your hackers near your production. Or your airfields, yeah, in or your particular. Airfield. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, airfield in particular, because they want to get the nuke MIGs down. But, yeah, because that's the most likely spot for them. This is, like, this is the most likely anthrax bomb spot. Um, but as you can see, the hackers are, are not within range of the airfoils bomb, just barely. Here we go. Okay, you're certainly right about the parving woes. These overlords are struggling. That being said, though, the positioning from Pablo wasn't too good, sending his units out one at a time. One of the overlords does get taken out, not able to pop back in the tunnel quickly enough. Oh, man, they're having an awful oh, time. they're having a bad time. Oh, no. Okay, Jarman's going to be here from Uroli. Uh, did he already use his snipe? Because he didn't snipe the overlords. Whoa. Just gets, by Jarman, gets blown up. Um, Dude. Oh, he lands on the silo. So yeah. Jarman's seen me play Star Control once to explore planets as well. Hey, that's where it's at. Your carpet bomb is too late. Um, it's well late. <laughs> yeah, that was actually oh. the world's latest carpet bomb. Yeah, the, the general's powers usage is just. You know, I found a cringe from Uroli. It's just just not playing it well. Uh, the nuke is going to be great against buggies, but, uh, but not against yeah. stingers. Yeah, but it's okay, that's fine. pretty like, good. It's super worth. He actually gets um, four of them. Nice play from your Oli. That was really good. Nuke bees are great against um, buggies, so that's something to keep in mind. The buggies from Pablo Escobar will not be very effective against when there when there are nuke mids on the field, and Pablo doesn't have a good counter to that other than buggy v buggy. So, so we get a lot of people send us in replays, and we don't cast most of them. But if you, if you want us to 100% guaranteed cast one of your replays, what you do, you set up a 2v2, and then one of you, the players on each team quits. So then you have a 1v1 with two factions. We, we will cast that replay for sure. Yeah. Because then you get just really interesting strategies where you have all these different unit mixes. Ooh, those nuke split, that was a nuke, nuke big split. Did you see that? That's really yeah. hard. He doesn't have the yeah. uh, armor upgrade. Yeah. Might, might be saving these MIGs. Good stuff from you. I saw, I see you, Yuroli. I see you. Oh, the Jarman. No! Split. What? Okay, so what Jarman happened? Saw, what was yeah, that? I, what it, was, it was a Jarman counter snipe. Right. So the, this Jarman of Yuroli sniped the worker that was about to capture the Overlord. They got counter sniped yeah. as a result of that. Okay, cool. Because I, I, I thought it was going to be Yuroli doing the counter snipe. And look, the world's most forward Bangry, Angry Mob production mm. is right next to the nuke missile. It's in the same screen. Uh, GG. Yeah, nice, GG. I, I was gonna say, are they pacifist angry mobs? Where they're literally just an angry mob? They're just like, nuclear disarmament! We don't want <laughs> countries having nuclear missiles. Um, shakes fist angrily without Whoa. shooting AK-47s. Big, big difference there in the yeah, supplies. Yeah, huge. That was the, that's black markets, entirely. Yeah, I, th I think, um, I mean, you've also got to think about the cash bounty. It certainly makes a difference, but... Yeah, you're only ha had some questionable... Powers. His tunnel pops weren't that very good. That, that, I, I think that was definitely partly to do that pathing. Like Chinese units just do not path well out of tunnel networks. Not lots of them. We've seen overlords in conjunction with like pods and stuff have an okay time, but it looks like overlords with like ECMs and other kinds of units just looks really janky. Like three yeah. times overlords. Yeah. Or three or multiple it's overlords. Probably because of, yeah. of of you know some kind of like code reasons. Right. It's the thing that I've learned is. If something seems weird, it's always because 
it wasn't worth the the five hours it would have took someone to <laughs> fix the like the hit the yeah. hit boxes or whatever of mm-hmm. the the Chinese units. They they only optimize it for GLA or something. Ridiculous. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they they've only properly optimized it for GLA. But GG anyway. Um, good stuff from Pablo Escobar. The uh, the black market uh, start uh, production was on point, but you only had a good early game. Yeah, and mm. it's 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 fun seeing players have so much choices. Okay, like do what do what I go for here? Do I go mass overlord? Do I go buggies? Do I go nuke migs? Do I go like a lot of bla- uh, battle buses? You just when you have multiple factions, your your range of strategies increases. And normally, when you GLA, there's 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 no reason to. Like, oh, I'm GLA and I have Chinese production. Yeah. So. But when you have GLA production as China, that gets really interesting. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.